Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today we're going to have a look at the CJRB Malia and see if it makes for a good urban EDC knife. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to support the channel. Thanks a lot. CJRB is a subdivision of Artisan Cutlery, a Chinese knife brand. It seems it's quite popular for Chinese companies to have multiple brands to offer knives at different price points. The most notable would be Wee Knives with Civivi and now Senkut. CJRB is the budget line of knives of Artisan Cutlery. So let's have a look at it first. Uh, first the box. Very simple box. Cardboard is not super thick. Art card printed. That's about it. And very basic. Inside we get a plastic bag with a knife, a silica pack, and that's it. No stickers, no swag, no cloth. So very, very simple. And inside this thick Ziploc bag, we have the knife. All right, let's have a closer look at the knife. So it's really small and petite, as you can see. Now I've got small to medium sized hands, so that's how big it is. But nice colors with the black G10 skills and this uh, red hardware. I think that makes it pop and it's really nice. And uh, there are two ways to deploy, that's the thumb studs and the front flipper. I've never, you know, had good luck with this style of front flipper. Oh, okay, it popped open there, but not my go-to. I would probably go with the thumb studs and uh, one on each side, so that's good. So the Malia is a small knife, but it's built with utility and carability in mind. It was designed by Savannah Swaggerty, who named it after a friend who passed away. So this knife is a small folder and I think it's best comparable in size to the Civivi Baby Banter. Now, in fact, I was choosing between the Baby Banter and this knife and eventually chose the Malia. For one, there is a price difference between the two. Now the regular price for this is about 45, 69, but you can get it for just under 35 US dollars from some dealers. Uh, the Banter is 59.50. So quite a significant price uh, difference. Second, the baby banter shape just doesn't call out to me. I know it's a popular knife and the small size does appeal to me, but the shape and the handle shape specifically doesn't really resonate with me. Uh, whereas when I saw the Malia, I thought I really liked the lines. I like this curve with a bit of a belly here for the handle. And I do like this reverse Tanto style blade. Now, I don't really have knives to compare it to in terms of size, maybe the CVV KV Plus, right? You can see that's also a small knife, but it's a completely different uh, shape and even the blade style is completely different. But just, you know, as a comparison in terms of the size, because I EDC this in my rotation and so this could easily fit in as well. But I think in terms of the blade shape and the overall design, I think it's very similar to this CRKT Sketch which is a Lucas Burnley design. And you can see there are similarities in the look. So I can see, I do like this knife for the look. I think it's very fashionable, uh, quite different. Uh, this has uh, a gray scales, but it's got that zombie green sort of hardware. And this is black with red. So I can see the design sensibilities are quite similar. So uh, I guess that's why I like this knife as well. So let's talk about some of the specs of this uh, Malia knife. So the blade length is 2.39 inches, so well below 2.5 inches. The closed length is 3.14 inches and the overall length is 5.51 inches. This weighs 2.29 ounces or 65 grams, so pretty lightweight. The blade thickness is 2.5 mm, which I like for a small blade like that. It's still pretty thick. Now the blade finish, they call it a black PVD coating. I'm not sure what that is. I don't really see anything or feel anything. This feels very much like a satin finish. So I'm not too sure about that. If you do know, let me know in the comments below. And the blade style is a reverse tanto. Although I've seen it in product descriptions referred to as a one cliff, but definitely not a one cliff. So uh, I think it's more a reverse tanto. And the blade grind is flat. It's got nice jimping over here and a bit of a swedge in front. 
So what's the blade material? This is ARRPM9. Now that's a mouthful. And I actually wasn't very familiar with this particular steel. But the ARRPM9 steel is proprietary. It's a stainless steel manufactured by Artisan Cutlery. And it uses and formulates to, with the power metallurgy process and is categorized under the budget price steels. Now the 9 in the naming of ARRPM9 steel is intended to signify the number of elements present in its alloy composition. So basically this steel is equivalent to the Chinese 9CR18MOV steel, which is pretty decent, or the German 1.4112 stainless steel. They are both high carbon and uh, chromium steels with a hardness of 58 to 60 HRC, so pretty hard. This handle is G10, the clip is stainless steel, and this uses ceramic ball bearings for the pivot system, and it is a liner lock. Now it's not drop shutty by yep not drop shutty at all but it's very easy to open and close and as mentioned there's the thumb studs and there's that uh front flipper as well which i don't like to use as much but that's basically the breakdown of the knife now does this make for a good urban edc i would say yes right it fits my criteria in terms of size in terms of look um, budget is good as well. It's not uh, too heavy on the wallet. So I, I, I can imagine carrying this and I'll put this in my rotation and see how that goes. With that deep pocket clip, I could easily clip it to my pants pocket uh, and I'm sure I won't even know it's there until I need to use it. I do like the design, the overall size. I think it's not threatening even if you open this in public. I wouldn't of course flick it out like that in public. Uh, because that's a nice silver blade. If there are people around, I would just open it two-handed and use it as I need. But it is very stylish, I think, uh, as, as I said, very similar to the CRKT sketch, which I showed earlier. So overall, I'm not sure about the steel. We'll have to test it out and see how it goes. Uh, edge retention, my guess, if it's uh, like the 9CR18MOV, you expect it to need uh, attention or maintenance uh, every now and then but it will be easy to sharpen which I personally appreciate compared to let's say a tool steel like uh, D2 but to each his own these are just my thoughts overall I like it I think this is a great urban EDC but what do you think do you like the size do you like the shape the design are you familiar with the blade steel let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep it folded, keep it safe.